Hey everyone, Miles Pit here playing Nevermind. Good enough for me. Not only this is a biofeedback game, but I do not have a biofeedback sensor. So I will do without. What the hell is this? Neuro Nostalgia Institute? Guessing these are game devs? Or that guy looks familiar. Okay. Wow. Mouse sensitivity is a little high. Hey, look at that little footpath. Get no one at the counter. Yikes, Ritzy. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Thanks, game. What I got here? Modern Minds Magazine. Interesting. Let's try this. Okay. Touch anywhere off screen to continue. Hello, Doctor. Our facial recognition sensors detect that you must be Neurostalgia's newest neural prober. Welcome to the team. We can take care of the finding, final registration details here. Please continue to proceed with this process. We appreciate you arriving and exit early today. We find it helps to onboard new neuroprobers before colleagues and clients arrive. As a neuroprober, you will be delving into the subconscious mind of our clients to help them work through their struggles of psychological trauma. It is deeply important work, but work that requires a great deal of security and discretion. We will now proceed to verify your identity. If you experience this series ahead, will it contain intense and disturbing scenes and situations? These scenarios may trigger adverse reactions in participants who may be especially sensitive to narratives and imagery involving psychological trauma. I'll proceed further, blah 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 blah. I agree. We see you came wearing your assigned nostalgia device. Thank you for your compliance with standard policy. You may notice tips and points of interaction within the institute will be highlighted by the lens. Your first day of registration is complete. Please proceed to the staff only area behind you. Your iStalgia lens has now been synced to your employee account and will grant you access to the doors. Woo! Let's get started now. Kind of creepy that no one's here. Open. I guess I'm supposed to go through the lit door. What's this now? Um, that looks kind of creepy for a doctor picture. Is he a detective? Doctor Mindless Pit. Nice. Good God, how much money do these people have? Use the computer. Handbook. Yeah. Stimulated mindscape constructed by Nostalgia to help new employee in inter orientation. Activate imprint. Thank you. Intro sense imprint has been activated. You may now commence near probing. Please proceed to the center through the door on your right. Oh, oh boy. That looks dangerous. So it's a hollow deck. Intro sim is a simulated mindscape. Blah, blah, blah. I think that's what I read before, isn't it? Things have become almost unbearable for me and for my family. Nothing has helped. I guess that's why I'm here. So, um, if I just talk about my troubles, you'll be able to use it later to help with the procedure? Seems hard to believe, but you're the experts. Damn right we are. I think many of my issues started when I was young. So, why don't we start with my childhood days, yes? Okay. 
Let's see. I was raised in a lovely cottage in rural Germany. We didn't have much, but my twin sister, uh, our father and I, got by. There was actually a great famine for much of my early childhood, and often we went without food. I had many happy moments with my family, but the darkest times began when my father remarried. How long is this going to be? My stepmother always resented my sister and me. We didn't like her much either, to be honest. God, she was horrible. Sometimes she would take my sister and me out for long walks in the forest, and then she'd hurry home. My sister and I couldn't keep up, and we'd often get lost. We learned to leave a trail of whatever we could find on those walks to help us get home. I guess, in some ways, our stepmother helped us become resourceful like that. My sister is a real fighter. The kind of woman any girl or boy could look up to. She volunteers to work with various youth organizations now. Uh, enough about her. Me on the other hand, okay. I like to women women's panties. Yes. Maybe I should talk about my feelings. Yes. <laughs> you may find it hard to believe, but I've always struggled with various eating disorders and anxiety around food. Eating anything rich makes me feel scared and anxious. It's hard to describe. My sister has actually experienced similar issues, and it has worsened for us both as we've gotten older. That's not normal, though, is it? That is normal. We've seen countless doctors about this in the past. They've determined that our issues may be trauma-related, but have yet to help us sort out the underlying source. They have yet to... fix us? That's why we're here. You find a corpse in the woods. Duh. Welcome. Welcome to Neuroprober Training. I am pleased to be your guide. When I'm speaking, you can always make a right-click motion to skip this instruction. Whether you are speaking with the client directly, or neural probing within their mind, it is always imperative to listen. You'll find that every detail of the subconscious is trying to tell its story. In the case of our clients, it's often the forgotten story of the trauma they experienced. Some parts of the patient's memory may have become confused or corrupt. While neural probing, you will encounter objects that look like photographs. This is how your consciousness interprets the concrete uh -huh. memory moments. When you acknowledge a memory photo, it will surface more prominently in the client's psyche, and at that point can be found in a safe area of the mind, often where you begin within the client's mind. When you have found all ten photos, you must put five of the memories that actually represent the trauma in the proper order. Can I walk through this? Doing nope. so will, at last, fully release the memory to the client's conscious mind. Often, he or she will experience a breakthrough at this moment. That breakthrough is what every neuroprober lives for, and is the key to the client finally being able to work towards true recovery. Okay. Dear Brats, go away. Love your stepmom. Lovely woman, I think. I wonder what's through here. Can I go through any of these? Sprinting would be nice. Some parts of the subconscious allow you to interact with them. While neural probing, make a left click motion to engage with it. Holding on to right click will allow you to move the item around oh. to examine it further. I tried when that. You are done, you can make a left click motion again and it will return to its natural position. I'm trying to see if this is a photo or anything. The boat kind of doesn't fit. Okay, where am I supposed to be? Oh, 
Where are the damn photos? The most important thing you do as a neuroprober oh. is find and acknowledge these photos. However, this is easier said than done. While some photos are freely available in the subconscious, others are buried deeply within and will need to be coaxed out. I think there'd be a photo there, right? And now I play the click game. Okay, this is a lot tamer than I thought it'd be. Oh, door opened, okay. Interacting with one part of the mind can sometimes open up new areas of the psyche. Some things, like these doors, can change their state in response to actions taken elsewhere. What is that? Rock? Sister, save me from becoming dinner? Oh, it's Hansel and Gertel, y'all. The subconscious doesn't take kindly to intruders, and will take every opportunity to feed off of any sensations of anxiety or tension you offer to it. If you can, try to stay calm and peaceful, even in the face of terror. If you can calm yourself, you'll find the subconscious will calm itself too. That's why you need a sensor. That I don't have. Here is an example of an especially buried memory. Some details of a given trauma can be especially tenacious, but by gently and cleverly listening to the clues the mind gives you, you will find all you need to work through it. Just think of it as a puzzle for you to solve. When you focus on these puzzles, make a right-click motion if you need to break your concentration. Oh, go to the mouth. That was a mistake. The birds would never sing for us. What's this? Oh, tree. Stump. Why do I hear monkeys? Oh boy. Okay. A terrible fire burned our home down. While neuroprobing, your consciousness is lost deep. While this is a journey that you must make alone. We at the Neurostalgia Institute take the safety of our neuroprobers very seriously. If you need to access any of your neuroprober tools or pull your consciousness free, press your finger where an escape key might be. This will bring up your neuroprober tools and you can proceed as needed from there. What tools? Okay. Through the door. Yay, next door. I think. Yep. Do you remember when I mentioned that the client's subconsciousness can feed off of your fear? Some especially vulnerable areas can be very sensitive and dangerous. When you place your consciousness in another's subconsciousness, there is a risk of you getting hurt, of the pain and turmoil of the client's subconscious drawing your own mind into its agony. 
I don't like those you footsteps. You must be brave in these areas, despite the risk. You must stay calm. Should you let your fears get the best of you, it will be... You can even pick up and walk around with some objects. To do so, interact with it, and then start walking while holding on to it. Okay, what did that do? Oh, it opened fast. And for a photo, damn it. Well, that's weird. And now's the dead end. I just have wrap around. What are you doing out here? What the? There's no bread. Hello, bunny statue. That step mom was a real piece of work. Okay, that's a human sized cage. And that's a frog. That's the stove. It was sticking out of it. Yeah, there is. Hey, another one. There we go. The home was a trap. Children would be cooked and eaten there. So, Hansel and Gretel, yeah. Okay. She would take us to the forest to die, but we would leave a trail to find our way back home. One time I got very lost. And so, we had strudel, y'all. Y'all. That was itchy. Candy. When your consciousness is in another's subconsciousness, your psyches will inevitably intermingle. Just as the client's mind can affect you, you will see parts of yourself reflected in the mind of the client. Tread lightly and tread carefully. No, screw the rules. I do what I want. Okay, that looks like flesh. Aw, dead birdie. Walk, walk. That looks like a wooden squirrel. 
Ew. I don't want that now. At Neurostalgia, we take great measures to ensure our neuroprober safety as best we can. However, you are about to proceed through a highly dangerous area that you must face alone. If the client's subconscious becomes too volatile, you will be automatically removed from this area of the mind and taken to a safer area of the mind. Use this as an opportunity to collect yourself. When you're ready, you will be able to easily return to where you left off to battle the darkness and chaos that has taken root in the client's subconscious. I was bitten by an animal in my sleep. Not hitting me. It was the worst birthday ever. Oh boy. That was a lot tamer and more annoying than that would be. Oh, it's not over yet. Okay. Whoa. The worst birthday ever. Game flashbacks to the park here. Can I turn around? There's gonna be a guy in a chipmunk costume staring at me with his cold dead eyes. That glow in the dark. Or no, did I successfully pass the trial of the candy spikes? I am disappointed. Unless there's still something waiting up here. Wish there might. Apparently not. We were last, but we found a house that looked nice. Oh, last, but we found a house that looked nice. I play piano. Guess that was it. Okay. Terrible fire. Guess I got it wrong. That's not the story of this client's trauma. Try again. Think hard about the clues you saw along the way. Here's the house to die. Find a nice house. House was a trap. Dinner. God, it literally was Hansel and Gretel. That's so stupid. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's all rushing back. Octaliba! It's so awful, and I don't want to remember, but yes, I now know the face of my demon. My sister and I. We were taken out into the woods by my stepmother for one of her nighttime walks. 
We'd usually find our way back by the trail of whatever we could grab before the walk. Uh, marbles, pieces of paper, even pebbles. However, one night, she took us deep, deep into the woods. We brought some bread to leave a trail of crumbs, but all the forest creatures must have eaten them. We were lost, so lost. We tried to find our way back, but it was so dark, and we were in the very strange part of the woods. We were lost for days, hungry and tired. We finally found a house and were so hopeful that someone might be able to help us. That house, though, that house was no ordinary house. It looked like candy, and there was something off about it. We shouldn't have gone in, but... We did. It was a prison for lost children like us. There was a woman in the house who would fatten her prisoners up and try to eat them, and that was going to be our fate. I was first. She tricked me into getting close to the oven, and before I knew it, I was inside. If it weren't for my clever sister, Gret, pulling me out in time, I would have been burned alive. We escaped that house and found our way home. After that, things started to get better. Our awful stepmother passed away and my family came into some wealth. I guess... I guess we just forgot about those... Oh, you're a crazy time. person. How could you live with those images and memories inside your mind? Then again, they were always there. The old woman still torturing us beyond memory, beyond time. However, I can now confront my past, confront this trauma. Thank you. It is better to know than not to know. Dear Dr. Pitt, let us be the first to warmly welcome you to the Neuro Nostalgia Institute. The room will be our office, and we trust that you will find everything you need to work comfortably work here. Your lens will log you into our primary computer. It's across from this desk. Why is the computer across the desk? I don't know. You can start get started there whenever you feel ready. Once again, welcome to our small and elite team of Neuro Progress. We feel honored to have you here working with us. Okay, well, this seems like a good time to call it quits. If you want to try this game out for yourself, there's going to be a download link below. You can play through Hands on Gretel. Original work there. <laughs> I kid. Um, if you enjoyed watching me play, please like, subscribe, share, all that razzmatazz. Thanks for watching.